Hello everybody, this is me, Gabriel. Today I'm going to show you something quite revolutionary in the Linux gaming space. So, I'm going to show you a way, a very, very recent way, that just released like two days ago or something, to stream gameplay from Linux with audio, with hardware acceleration, both on NVIDIA and AMD GPUs, and also Intel GPUs now, of course, using hardware acceleration on both X11 and Wayland with the game's audio and not like the whole desktop audio, just the game's audio. Yes, that is now possible on Linux and I'm so glad that now there's a way to do this because the solution is actually so good that I'm always gonna use this from now on because you can use any resolution, any frame rate, any anything. It works so well and it has zero latency. This is quite revolutionary actually and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now actually no youtubers that I follow on YouTube have talked about this and this is quite revolutionary for uh, gaming on Linux because now you can stream yourself playing games with no performance hit almost no performance hit at all with audio and everything and it's even better than using discord for that with no latency that is freaking Awesome. Now that we're here, I'm gonna show you this awesome project, Broadcast Box, a broadcast in a box. It's what we're gonna use uh, to stream from OBS using WebRTC that basically allows anyone with a browser to watch your stream with audio, with great resolution, with everything you want. So if you scroll down here, it's gonna have a section called Broadcasting and it actually gives you the instructions to use this on OBS. OBS version 30 released with this new function that allows you to use WebRTC natively so you don't need any plugins anymore so if you're in KDE just open this cover uh, if you're in GNOME just open GNOME software and search for OBS in my case I have Fedora and the packages are already at 30 so just install this and now open OBS uh, it's gonna warn me because I'm already running OBS so I'm gonna execute anyways uh, let me just hide this so it's not an infinite loop here and you're gonna go to settings and you're gonna go to streaming and you're gonna change the service to WHIP and you're gonna change the server to this server that they put here it's uh, bsiobuds.com slash api slash h ah, WHIP and the password, the token bearer, what they call, you're gonna just put whatever, I just put test123 so I can showcase that to you um, a small tip, if you want uh, hardware encoding on AMD, you can change on streaming the video encoder to FFmpeg VA API H.264. So the thing is that before the version 30, basically VA API on OBS was a trash. And now on version 30, they fixed this and it's actually very awesome. It basically has the same quality and same performance as AMD AMF now that's awesome so just choose this and leave it basically at default just change this to Opus because I think WebRTC does not support AAC and that's all basically just uh, change this to your desired value I usually put uh, 6000 kbps it's a good value so the thing is just uh, start your stream and it's gonna tell you that it's going I mean it should be going yes it's going okay so what you're gonna do now do you remember that token bearing that we chose here on transmission and here there is a token bearer actually so you're gonna come to the website that they put on the page on their github page and you're gonna type that I put test one two three and I'm gonna watch the stream and it should yeah it's working look wait it's actually look at the latency even for me the latency is so low and I can actually open this link on my phone and for the other person the latency will be unnoticeable literally like it's crazy and you're using hardware acceleration and you're using audio and let me tell you something else I forgot to tell it okay guys so let me tell you one tip before I go how to stream the audio 
but not like the audio from your whole computer because your friends will be on Discord, right? They just want to hear the audio from the game when they're watching your stream because they're already hearing you from the call. So how to do that? There's actually a very, very cool OBS plugin called uh, OBS Pipewire. Yeah, Pipewire Audio Capture. Yes. Uh, they have their uh, GitHub page here. So it's very easy to download this. You just uh, come here to releases, just download the tar GZ, and you're gonna come here to your home. You're gonna show the hidden files. You're gonna go to config, and then, oh my God, where is it? Where is it? And then come to OBS Studio, and you're gonna create a new folder called plugins. Inside that folder, you're gonna open the new thing that you downloaded here. And you're just gonna drag that, uh, I mean, drag the folder here, and shut on. And now you're gonna see that there will, will be a new option here application audio capture pipe wire. So you're just gonna open this, and let me just mute this here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so the audio will not be duplicated. So the thing is, this is very handy. Because you can choose all the apps that you want. Like there is Discord, there is Firefox. You can even stream your Firefox, like to watch YouTube videos with your friends. Uh, you can stream. You can choose like the games that you have open. I'm not gonna do this right now because there is no game open and, at the moment. But the cool thing is, you can actually stream the audio from your whole desktop, except for Discord. How do you do that? You choose Discord and you choose capture all apps except selected boom that is so freaking awesome you can stream everything like all the audio from your computer but just not the audio from discord because your friends don't want to hear themselves talking and this is like so freaking revolutionary like all of this coming together is so awesome this basically solves the problem on linux that you, we had for years for not being able to stream gameplay for your friends now you can do that in a very good way and it's so easy to set up and the quality is awesome the delay is low you can use hardware acceleration encoding and there's even audio man that is freaking awesome i'm so hyped about this now i don't have to worry about oh my god i won't be able to stream this to my friends because it's so easy it's free it's awesome, the quality is great. I hope I was able to help you with this because I'm very hyped about it and I even tested this with my friends and it actually works very well. So this will basically enable us Linux gamers to stream our gameplay to our friends on Discord and they're not gonna complain because they just need to open a little link and they'll immediately start watching your stream with low latency, great quality and audio. Now you don't need to use Twitch anymore and you can just use this because the latency on Twitch is quite high. So yeah, our, all of our problems are basically solved. Uh, we don't need to wait for Discord devs to enable this. And basically now I have one last big problem with Linux. <laughs> That's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you. Uh, see you the next time. Bye bye.